a lot of people don't remember this. This is quite amazing when you research these charts. Billboard's Hot 100, the week of June 14, 1975, Sister Golden Hair by America at number one, all the way down at number 81. You're not going to believe it. Blood, sweat, and tears trying to make a comeback with David Clayton Thomas back on lead vocals from the album called New City. They had a crack. They took a crack or had a go at the Beatles. Got to get you into my life. Let's go back on this record. The Beatles recorded this record. It took them a couple of months. The final take was a lot different from the very beginning on this record, recorded between April the 7th through June 17th, 1966, at Abbey Road Studios. A lot of people think, oh man, the Bills, they wrote another great love song, like Yesterday, or I don't know, We Can Work It Out, or something. Uh, not quite. Paul McCartney admitted that Got to Get You Into My Life is about the joys of marijuana is Ode to Marijuana. Dressed up as a love song, you couldn't really go out and say, hey, I love, got to get marijuana into my life. Du, 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 du. You can't do that. Not 1966. Couldn't even do it now. 50 years later. But it's really clever that you could dress something up as a love song, but it means something else. And that's where the Beatles, part of the genius of the Beatles with the double entendres, the, the double meanings of their songs. You can read so many things into their lyrics. Now, here's the thing. The album was Revolver, but Got to Get You Into My Life was re-released. It was put out as a single in 76, and boom! Top 10. 10 years after it was recorded. Now, what does that tell you about the talent of the Beatles? I don't care what anybody says. They're, says they're, they're the greatest band got to say it. Blood, Sweat, and Tears now with their version of Got to Get You Into My Life. David Clayton Thomas does a respectable job as lead vocalist on this record, on this remake. Although probably not quite as powerful. He's not quite as powerful or full-throated as he was when he was doing lead singles, doing lead singing on songs like Spinning Wheel, You Made Me So Very Happy. Um, trying to think of some other songs that he did. Lucretia, McGeeble, I always get that name mixed up. Uh, you Made Me So Very Happy, and When I Die was another one that Blood, Sweat, and Tears did, but he does okay on this song. Uh, their version of Got to Get You Into My Life went to number 62 on Billboard's Hot 100, but it was down to number 81 the week of June 14th, 1975, produced by a competent, at the very least, a competent uh, engineer, producer. His name was Jimmy Einer. Jimmy Einer produced albums by Three Dog Night, Bay City Rollers. He was also, in the 80s, a major musical wonderkin producer of the soundtrack, executive producer of the soundtrack to Dirty Dancing from the film Dirty Dancing. Blood, sweat, and tears. My goodness, this this is killer. Got to get you into my life. Their version of the Beatles record. <laughs> 